appeared before the committee many times, a good friend of the committee, and always willing to come in and talk to us. But if, as you suggested, things have changed dramatically in the last few years, why wouldn't the Congress deal with that specifically rather than to leave it up to this FCC and then the next FCC? I assume whatever this FCC does, if it survives the legal challenge, and we all believe there would be one, uh, then the next FCC would have the ability to do just exactly the opposite. Why wouldn't we want to make that a more uh, firm, founded future? <clears throat> I think it's an appropriate goal, Senator Vaughn, to, to, to aspire to that. I've lived through many FCCs that have changed course. I lived through much litigation around the FCC and, in all honesty, around congressional legislation in this area. And the, a lot of that litigation is around things on the margin or things about a definition things that are within a range, within a framework. Uh, it's not like black or white. And as you say, because it's so fast moving, because it's so dynamic, very difficult for Congress to pinpoint precisely not just what needs to happen today, but next year and the following year. So I think it's totally appropriate for Congress to look at this, and I urge you to do so. But one suggestion I would have is if you want to legislate, maybe we can get away from this discussion of is it Title II, is it Title I, is it Title VI or, se or 706, and think about with your principles what powers, what, what goals do you want to establish, what policies do you want to establish, and then what tools do you want experts at an agency to be grappling with on a day-to-day -day basis. I think if we approached it that way, you'd find much less disagreement than what is apparent on some of these discussions.